Hello, welcome to the first weekly science project session. My name is Zach Kraus, and I'm going to be guiding you through some weekly science projects that you can do at home with materials you have at home. And I'd like to thank Cornell Cooperative Extension 4-H program in Putnam County for having me. I'm really excited to get started. For our first session, we're going to be making a tornado in a bottle. You probably noticed that I'm wearing a little bit of a goofy outfit. This is my weather suit and I thought it was appropriate for a tornado in a bottle. It's also a nice gloomy day outside. We might get some thunderstorms, which is exactly when you would expect to see a tornado. Did you know that the United States received more tornadoes than any other country in the world? At any rate, these are the supplies you need for this experiment. You must have two plastic bottles. Ideally, they would be two liter bottles, but one liter bottles would work as well. I don't really think you should be using the small drinking bottles. Then we need some duct tape and a little metal washer. You can ask your parents if they have one of these. They should have one laying around the house. And then I have some op optional decorative supplies. We have food coloring, some paint, or Sharpies, cotton balls, and glue. We'll get to those once we finish the project. Tornadoes generally form when it's rainy and windy. But today we're making a simulated tornado in a bottle using some water. So the first thing you need to do is fill up one of your bottles about three quarters of the way with water. Okay, once you've done that, the next step is to place the metal washer on the top of the bottle that has the water in it. Now you need to make sure it's a metal washer that fits on the top of the bottle without falling in. Once the metal washer is placed, then we can take our dry bottle. I chose a green one because that's what I had, but it doesn't matter the color. And that one will be placed right on top. Now, once that's all set, it's like a juggling act. We will take some duct tape and really try to join these bottles together. Be generous with the duct tape so that you make sure it's completely sealed. If you need uh, someone to help you hold it while you're taping it, that might be helpful. So once you've got it all nice and taped and waterproofed, our basic tornado in a bottle is already ready. All you need to do is flip it over and, uh-oh, something's wrong. There's no tornado. I don't know, maybe the lightning's not coming from outside. Something's off. Wait, I know. We need to start a vortex. This is something called the vortex effect. Notice there's no water going through the bottle, even though there's a hole. That's pretty crazy. But what we can do is we can break that tension by making a vortex that'll create some suction. So with me, swirl it, get a little spin going, and then we have our tornado in a bottle, everybody. Stay tuned for some decorative additions that I think you're gonna like. Before we start with our decorations, I want to teach you one more fact. Our tornado here is made of water, not dust and wind. Did you know that a tornado made of water and wind is called a water spout? Here's what it looks like. So I just finished decorating my tornado in a bottle and I'm really pleased with how it came out. So what I did was I took these paint markers, you could use Sharpies or paint, and I made, I made this uh, like gray sky with lightning bolts and green grass, and then I put cotton balls up here to make clouds, and it looks like a cool stormy day. Let's see how it looks with the tornado coming down. What do you think? I think it's pretty cool.
One other thing you could do is you could put food coloring in the water and then we could get like a red tornado or a blue tornado and that would be pretty cool. It's best to do that before you tape it all up. Before I show you one more cool thing, I want to emphasize that tornadoes are extremely dangerous and if you ever witness a tornado in real life, you should not be attracted to go towards it like some storm chasers do. The safest place in your house, if there's a tornado warning to, to shelter, is in your basement. If you don't have a basement, you should go in the bathroom because the piping around the bathroom will provide a sturdy shelter for you. Now I have one more thing I want to show you. Let's go. So what I did was I set up my strobe light that I used to DJ here and we're gonna see what it looks like with some strobe lightning. Let me turn the lights off. Thanks so much for tuning in this week. Join us next week when we'll be making slime.